ladies and gents, it's Lisa from tocreativewebsite.com and in this video, I'm going to talk to my Studio Press Genesis WordPress theme users and I'm going to show you four tweaks that you must know about if you use these themes. You know, these themes are not the flashiest in the world. They're very simple. Some people will say they're very vanilla, but they're very customizable as you've probably noticed. But there's a lot of things people don't know and so that's what I want to focus on in this video. So. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the header. How do you go from having this small 400 by 80 pixel header to a full width header like I have here and make sure that it's still responsive, meaning it sizes down to fit mobile devices? I always get that question. So I'm going to start there. I'm also going to show you how to populate the area right below your post or pages or right above your comments. I don't have comments on this section of my site, but this is where they would be. This is very easy to do and you don't even need a plugin. As you can see, I use it to show off the tools that I use on my site, which is a very good affiliate income generator. Everybody should have this page on their site. So I use that space to advertise that section of my site. Next, I'm going to show you how to edit the landing page of your post categories because every category that you create in WordPress has its own landing page, whether you know it does or not. And if you use your categories in a certain way, or if you link to them, you can customize what you have at the top of that landing page. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to hide the normal post or page title on your pages. Why would you ever want to do that? Well, you might have a landing page and the title doesn't look right. Or maybe your title is located in a different space like my site is right now. And I didn't want a title as well on top of this. It will look kind of crowded. So there's a plugin out there that allows you to remove the title. So with that said, let's get to it. The first step to creating a full width header image is to install the free plugin called Genesis Simple Hooks. And when you install it, you're going to get the simple hooks item under your Genesis menu. So you just go there and you're going to do a search control F or command F for header until you find the header hooks section. So with this plugin, what you can do is you can populate like 50 or 60 different parts of your theme by simply putting text or code in these boxes. So to override that small header, that is the default for most Genesis themes and have a big header like I have, you just simply populate the header or the Genesis header, as you can see here, hook box with the code for an image. So where in the heck did I get this code from? Well, I happen to know it by heart, but you can always Google HTML code for an image or something like that. And then of course you will swap out the link with the link to your own image. So you just upload the image to your media library and then click the image and WordPress will give you this link that you see highlighted in blue. You just paste it there and then boom, that's going to override that default small image that you see on most Genesis themes. And then you'll have a full width header like you see on my site. Now, in terms of the sizing, mine is a thousand pixels by 250 pixels high. You might have to play around with sizes. It depends on what looks best with your theme, but generally a thousand pixels is a good size. And what's great about this, it will be responsive, meaning it will size down automatically when people view your site on a smartphone. Next tip. So how do you populate the area right below your post? So we're going to go to appearance widgets, and then there is a widget in most Genesis themes called after entry. And that's just your entry content or your page or post content. And you can just drag whatever widget you want over here. I'm obviously using the text widget and I just put my code in here for the image. And that's what populated that image that you saw that links to my tools page. Next, let's talk about populating the landing page for your categories. Now I have a new section on my site to help people with WordPress and I have it broken down into categories. And so for example, if you want to learn how to do something with the Genesis themes, this is a category that's going to be growing and it's going to have content for Genesis theme users. So you just click that. And at the top of this page is some text. This is the landing page for this category that WordPress automatically creates. Well, you can edit the top of this page by going up to edit category. As long as you're logged in, you should see the edit category and then scroll down and where it says archive headline, that's where you put your headline and then archive intro text is where you put the text. And as you can see, you can put code here for images, links or whatever. 
So maybe you want to promote a product that's related to that category. Or if you want to put an opt-in box right there, you can just paste the code here and it will add it to the top of that category page. And then finally, if you're using a plugin like I am, I'm using Visual Composer, which you saw me demonstrate several months ago. And it looked a little silly to also have the standard page title right here at the top. So I got rid of the title because I have a title right here that was created by the plugin. Well, to get rid of the title, there's a free plugin called Genesis Title Toggle. So at the bottom of every page or post in your editor, you'll see the title toggle. And then this is where you can toggle it on and off. And you can even change the settings of this plugin for your site defaults. So if for some strange reason you want all of your titles to be off on your website, then you can make that the default. And if you don't, you can, of course, just toggle them off and on like I'm doing. So that's it, you guys. Four nice tweaks that you can use for your Genesis themes. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm.